Welcome back to Near Automata. We are here in the finale. Or what I'm assuming is the finale. With our boy 9S here. As you can see, I upgraded my weapons sufficiently. A lot of them are maxed out. Uh, the ones we're using are going to be the Demon's Cry and Contract Dignity. I think I have to equip them. Let me see. Yeah, let's let's make sure we're ready. Weapons. Two. Oh, just dignity. Yeah, we we found iron will somewhere. I forget where. Um. And cruel blood oath is something we also found. So yeah, let's use 2B sword here. Or should we, he had the spear. Maybe we should hold the spear this time. Cause he just isn't leveled up all the way. Machine brand. You know, we'll hold on to it. We probably won't use it over the the demon's cry. Scan. Shield. Laser. Yeah. That sounds right. And then my chipset. B is an A2's. And A is his, I think. Text. Shockwave. Last stand. Overclock. Actually, it's his B. Let's see. What's on B? Shockwave, Offensive Heal, Deadly Heal, Evade Range Up. This was his. Item Scan. Maybe it was A. Hold on. Critical. Last stand. Counter. Okay, yeah, this is nine S's. Okay. And then B is A2. So anyway, after wasting that time, let's head to the tower and open it up. Which will probably end things as far as this run. Because we opened up one of them. Let's open the other two. Where are you? Well, we made it. Have to hack. 
gonna hack them all. We've been expecting you. <clears throat> the two of us will take things from here. <laughs> you need to open the door to the tower. Devola? Albala? What are you doing here? Remember your promise? What are you talking about? Come on, Nines. Hack in while you can. None of this makes any sense! We'll explain everything once we're inside. <sighs> Oh. 
Nicola! I hope you don't regret this. Oh yeah, A2's gotta get to the tower. How's that gonna happen? Okay, data units discovered for Devil and Popola. Huh. Buried in sand, we press forward one step at a time. We have nowhere to go after all. Because our models, the Devil and Popola models, are defective. When we first woke, there were still people. They had fresh egos, emotions, souls, and they issued us a single order. Function as observers of Project Gestalt. This is the sole mission of the twin Devil and Popola models. It's the only reason we exist at all. We were the latest model. Through many... Oh, though many companions shared our appearance. There was a sparkle in all of our eyes, a sense of pride at having been entrusted with humanity's future. And yes, there was anxiety as well. But we existed as a pair. We shared destiny's burden as a pair. And because of that, all hesitation was swept away. Each pair was given our own cities as observation areas. We were ordered to guide the replicants with our own hands all for the sake of the promised time that would one day arrive. We were the only ones who could handle such a duty. We were observers after all. Ah, watch out. Devilish daggers and falls and the soft yet unforgiving sand. I hurry to her side and sigh of relief when I find she's not seriously hurt. Are you alright? Sorry sis, I guess I spaced out there for a bit. She smiles, the same smile I know so well, as she rubs absently at her leg and is wrapped in a white bandage. Your bandage is coming undone. Here, let me change it. It's alright, Popola. Come on, we have to go before we lose the light. We won't be going anywhere if sand gets into that thing. Now quit whining and hold still. I'll be quick. Devil grunts and turns away. I take it as consent. Soon we are resting in the shade of a nearby rock as I pull the bandage free. Artificial skin, torn and bloody, peeks out from beneath the bandage. Judging my devilish current lack of ambulatory control, I imagine the circuitry underneath has been damaged as well. Taking a deep breath, I... Oh! There are choices here. It's a visual novel. To see if it can be repaired, replace the bandage and hope for the best. I mean, can it be repaired? One of you is a healing unit. As expecting, wiring in the nerve circuitry has been damaged. Replacing it will require new connectors as well as some tools. None of which is easy to find in the desert. Sorry about this, sis, mutters Devil, huh? That wry smile again. It kills me every time. Don't you dare apologize, I respond. You've done nothing wrong. I calmly change the man to try not to worry. Oh, not to let my worry show. I make it as tight as possible so no sand can slip inside. That's all I can do until I get the proper materials. But that's going to be a tall order considering, considering our current condition. I'm sorry, sister. Okay, now you're apologizing. We both apologize while insisting the other's apology isn't necessary. It's kind of funny in a way, such a trivial exchange under such circumstances. We laugh together, the sound echoing out across the desert before being stolen by the cool evening wind. Okay, where is this going? 
regarding the increase in relapses, there has to be some way to prevent relapses. Devil, the sharp voice echoes through our private quarters. You must be quiet, sister. The replicants will hear. They wouldn't understand even if they did. That might be true, but regardless. Annoyed at my hesitation, Devil crossed her legs and scowls. The black scrawl took another victim, she says. And that's three this month. It's spreading way too fast. So this is the era of the first year. Let's wait and see what happens. I'm tired of hearing you say that. Her shout makes me jump just a little, but enough for her to notice. Huh. Seeing that her eyes suddenly open wide. I'm sorry, sis. It's not your fault. I shouldn't have lashed out like that. It's okay, I understand. It's all going wrong. You can feel it too, right? When I was first assigned to Project Gestalt, I was over the moon with pride. But now my chest hurts just to think about it. If we were to fail, it were to fail. Hmm. Before we knew it, the replicants had gained a sense of self and the black scrawl started raging out of control. It moved fast, too fast. Like a wind. Popo and I would go to the observation room and act like it was all okay. We'd talk to the replicants as if we didn't have a care in the world. But at night, we'd just hold each other and share the horror of it all. So they knew about them gaining new souls. I'm glad you were with me, muttered Popola. I couldn't have handled being an observer all alone. We were able to endure because we had each other. Did the humans see this coming? Is that why they made a twin model? Were they really so clever? Were they really so cruel? I could have done this myself. I would. Oh, I couldn't have done this myself. I would have sent it into madness. I simply couldn't bear such a burden all alone. When I get the chance, I'm going to try contacting another city. Maybe these anomalies are a localized phenomenon. I pray that's the case. Even if we, even if we're of no use ourselves, things will still work out if the other observers can pull through. Don't worry, it's going to be okay. But it wasn't okay. Nothing was okay. All thanks to a pair of Devola and Popola models from another town. The wind rubs my cheeks. The sand grazes my skin. It's grown cold out there. Out here. We walk with a new purpose, hoping to make up for lost time. Devil loses her balance every now and then. It gets bad after a while. I sit myself under her arm so she won't fall again and we press on. Is your leg alright? Well, I doubt I'll be dancing anytime soon, but yeah, it's fine. She smiles as she says this, but I can tell she doesn't have much left. And yet she continues to smile, Also, I don't worry. I remember when our resistance allies injured her leg. I was furious, beyond fury, I wanted to scream and cry and lose myself in it. But then she smiled and all of that rage just drifted away. To think we have the same face, yet such different smiles. One day, I realized how she reminded me of the martyrs I'd seen in old records. That was the day we decided to leave our town forever. Oh, they left. Record of Project Gestalt's end. Our role as observers ended on the day Project Gestalt collapsed. All due to the actions of Devil and Popola models from another town. With the original Gestalt loss, humanity was doomed to inevitable extinction. Knowing this, we gathered what remaining replicant data we could. Oh, we could find and launched it into the surface of the moon. And though success was unlikely as finding a lost sand grain in the desert, we still had to attempt it. We still had to try. We were androids, you see. Protecting humanity was our instinct. Other androids, beholden to the same instinct, began to detect their... direct their hate at the Devil and Popola models who snuffed out humanity. Huh. It started small. A few offhanded remarks, the occasional glance. 
but even the smallest things have weight. And with enough of them combined, the weight eventually becomes a boulder. And emotions boiled over, remarks became jeers, and soon enough, my sister and I were the perfect target of her persecution. At first, we simply accepted the fact that our friends turned on us. It was almost unavoidable, I suppose. We were observers for Project Gestalt, after all. And while we didn't cause it to fail, the people who did, well, they looked just like us. So we accepted it. We took the resentment and scorn we endured. Because as crazy as it sounds, I think we actually felt responsible. We've moved from town to town in an effort to avoid persecution. But in one such town, my seemingly infinite patience finally broke. My sister Devil, I met with unprovoked violence at the hands of a resistance member. She said something in response to his taunts. Something quiet. And though her words were ambiguous, he slashed her leg nearly in two. My vision narrowed. Everything went red, and then she smiled at me. It's okay, sis. There's nothing we can do. But it was too late. My emotions were no longer in my control. I'm simply not strong enough to stand aside and let my most important person in the world come to harm. Devil and I left the town the same day. Violence like that wouldn't stop. It was going to happen again. And it wouldn't be coming from just one person. So rather than let them kill us, we ran. I guess it was the greatest resistance I could muster. We lose the sun as dark clouds gather overhead. We continue our march. A cold wind blasts us, stealing what little body heat we have left. I smell rain in the air. We continue our march. Sometimes we hear animals howling in the distance. It makes us flinch every time. But we continue our march because even this is better than suffering at the hands of our fellow androids. Why must we suffer this persecution? I know we're the same motto as the androids that doomed humanity, so I understand that part. At least a little, anyway. But at the same time, we're not them. We're not the same. We are who we are. And that devil and the popola were who they were. That's how I felt when I saw a devil being hurt. I wanted to shout at everyone. I wanted to scream. As far as I'm concerned, there's only one devil. And for her, there's only me. No one can take the other's place. Rain falls from the sky and stimulates our sen sensation nerves like cold needles. We need maintenance badly. But that's a pipe dream, I suppose. No android will help a pair of outcasts like us. Are you cold, Devla? I'm alright as long as you're with me, sis. So this is from Popola's POV. I feel the same. We press our bodies together to try and retain heat. It's cold now. Much worse than the searing heat of midday, but this but we just smile at each other and keep pressing on. There's another camp on the other side of the desert, a new camp. If we can just get there, I can finally fix Devil's leg. And yeah, I wonder if there's anywhere on this planet that will take us. Hey, what's wrong? It's nothing, don't worry about it. I do what I can to suppress the anxiety in my chest and keep walking. The rain grows worse, it lashes at us without pause. Is this punishment? I reach out and... The rain flows down her cheek like tears. I reach over and gently wipe it away. She smiles but seems surprised. There's no point doing that, you know. But there is. Because I swore to myself that I would stay with her forever. For that is the fate. We twin androids have been assigned. That's really sweet. The failure to manage the area resulted in the collapse of the Gestalt system, which led to the decimation of the human race due to the discovery of its instability. The twin system was removed from future production designs. Following the incident, the Devil and Popola models were not dismantled. 
However, in order to prevent further unexpected behavior, they underwent a memory wipe. Are they the same too? Furthermore, they were reprogrammed to generate constant feelings of guilt. That is all that remains from their personal record during the era in which they were referred to as administrators. I see. Query. Why do the androids Devola and Popola seem to prefer death over surviving alone? There was a very high probability that at least one could I... have escaped. I hope you never have to understand. Affirmative. Query. Why does this tower possess an entrance at all? All material transport takes place via aerial vehicles. It is irrational for an infiltration route to be so easily accessible. Hypothesis. Entrance is a trap. Well, we can't go back. I don't care. I just have to kill them all. Buddy. Killing them all is not going to bring you what you want. Well, how do we save? Can we save? Oh, free saving. Yeah. Gold wars in here. Maybe there's a way to get back out. Your units. Like that carbon city or whatever replicated city fascinating hello and thank you for choosing tower system services we're so pleased you've chosen to visit the tower today don't forget about the special prize for the guest who unlocks the last subunit in the room just ahead you're going to love it! I'm gonna kill you. Oh, they're like your hubby units. From the big war. Huh. To see you here. I truly am. I'll tear you apart. Every last one of you! Still a few stragglers, huh?
That's rough, kid. That sucks. Alert. The structure known as the tower has opened its gate. Let's check it out. Where am I? There it is. Let's head back to the resistance camp. Ruins cave. Oh, there it is over there. No, that's near the tower. No, no, no. Let's see. Oh, okay. Let's go to the thing near the tower first and then... Because now we get to do stuff with A2. This is a good stopping point if we're just doing like 9S stuff. So with that said, I guess we'll say later for this week. So thanks for joining me for more Near Automata, and next time, A2 will enter the tower behind 9S. And I really want to see what happened to Devil and Popola. So until then, catch you later.